uh, passed on in a tragic manner versus someone who has um, a long-term illness and, and, and has passed on. Do you think that the grieving process is much easier in, in one, in, in that way, in terms of losing a little one in a slow process as opposed to in a tragic manner? That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? There, there is a length of time that uh, people should grieve because I've heard people say that when you, if someone passed away, you just deal with it and then move on. Uh, what do you? What, what's your opinion in terms of that? Is like, is there a length of time do you think, or you should just you know deal with it for a long time, or you know, it, you know, what's what's your opinion? Well, I, it's absolutely no time. You can't put a time on that. It all has to do with you and you know how you deal with it. I would never put a time on any of that, you know. Now, what I, w I would like to say is that you shouldn't be down and sad and upset, you know, for, you know, all this time. It's going to happen. But once you realize what, you know, you come to reality, you, you're you going to still grieve, but not in that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. not, you know, a sad and depressing way. So I never really put a length of time on that. It all has, it, it has to do with you. So you have to find you know how how you're going to do that. You know what I mean? Right, right. And I understand wholeheartedly. And that also this also leads us into this question in terms of though there are the five steps of uh, um, of grieving, uh, denial, um, anger, bargaining, yeah. depression, and acceptance. What what, what do you feel uh, that people? Um, should not spend a great deal on, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are people that, if someone passes on, they spend a lot of time uh, in depression, they spend a lot of time, blah, 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 blah. What do you think that people should not uh, feel, um, spend a lot of time on that, that can help them get over this process? You follow what I'm saying? Yes. Um, I feel like depression is, you know, that's, you shouldn't spend much time. And of course, you're going to be in that denial at first because it's like, you know, I was, you know, like, this is not happening. And I, I'm still, I still have dreams, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Of like, you know, her being there and stuff like that. But I've learned to accept it, but you don't want to spend too much time in depression because your loved one wouldn't want that. You know what I mean? They would you the same look your life. And, you know, depression is whatever. And it could lead you to do certain things that, you know, it's, you know, you shouldn't do. And then if you do it, you do it later on regret it because you got stuck in that depression phase. So that wow. I feel like it's important to get past or do something about it, you know, because I was in depression, but I did something about it, so I was able to get brought out of it, you know. Okay. Now, in, in talking to you, do you think that um, there's a, uh, and I, I, I did hear, hear you mention earlier about um, it's really hard to, to, regardless of losing a loved one, it's hard to deal with, but if a person has uh, passed on in a tragic manner, versus someone who has um, a long-term illness and, and, and has passed on. Do you think that the grieving process is much easier in, in one, in, the, in that way, in terms of losing a little one in a slow process as opposed to a, in a tragic manner? And if so, expound on it if you can. Yeah, in my opinion, I believe so, because if you have a loved one that's, you know, and you, you're expecting, you know what I mean, them mm -hmm. to pay because you know that you know, and this is just in my opinion, you know, um, you're expecting it because they're sick and you're like, okay, you kind of, you know, seen it coming, you know, it's now time for this person to rest. Now, if it happens like tragically or unexpectedly, it's just like, you know, that hurts more because you did not expect it. Like, you know, like said, when my mom, she had her attack and that was, she was very healthy. We never saw that coming. It just came out of nowhere. So that's, that made it even worse because it's like, why? And you're lost and you're like, what happened? Did she know something? Did this happen? You know what I mean? But if the person's sick for a long time, you know what happened. You know what's going on. You don't have to go looking and researching. Like, we were waiting for her death certificate to come to see what happened. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. left was lost. We didn't know what happened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It all mm -hmm. kinds of fear, all of that stuff. But if you know, you know, they're, you know, sick, you don't have to go through all of that. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, exactly. And that's why I wanted to bring that up because I mentioned my father earlier. He had uh, uh, Alzheimer's and it was a, it was a slow death, a slow um, process in terms of before, you know, before he passed away. But I was able to, to deal with, I was angry, you know, that was one of the things that I dealt with uh, in the five signs. But I got over it and I, um, you know, I, I, I did everything that I could for him a great deal and, and I spent as much time as I could. And, and the process was not was not hard. And, and I'm, you know, as you mentioned, it's it's easier in a sense if you if you know that this person's going through a situation and and eventually it's gonna happen as opposed to something that tragic. So that process definitely helped me out as well. And I also lastly as we close, I want to also say and you you can expound on this as well. If people do things for their loved ones, you know, and, and while they're living in terms of it helped them out in, in whatever way that they could. Does that, do you think, help out the process if, if they were to pass on one? Because there are a lot of people who grieve at funerals and holler and scream and things of that nature. And most of the terms, if you know the family members or people that were close to them, they really didn't do too much to that person. So they want to show up and show out at funerals. What's your opinion about that? Well, you, you mean like while they were living, they didn't yeah, well, yeah, exactly. You know, just do it. Let's say, for instance, if, if someone is ill and you know it, and they ask you to come do this, come do that, and you you just give them your time and not be, be, not think more of yourself, and just you know just help them out. And, and you know, after or God forbid that they pass, the process of grieving is not so no so hard. You follow what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like if, go ahead. Like if you don't do anything, for, this point blank, if you don't do nothing for anyone, and they, and they pass on, you come to the feel on you holler and scream you that process of grieving for, for that person is harder as opposed to if, you, if um, your yeah your mom said well yeah. tell you come do this again i think that you know in that case that person <laughs> i'm sorry that person went to have a lot of like guilt you know what i mean because they they were here you know all this time and you did nothing so i think in that case a lot of that person you know actions come from guilt a lot of guilt and also like if you um you're with someone and you haven't done you know a lot for this person even if they weren't like sick you know what i mean if they were just regular and then you haven't done as much as you can or as much as you should have done for a person even just if it's just helping them out you know mm -hmm. whatever and they pass suddenly and you're like i didn't get a chance to do this and that it's a lot of guilt or if you contributed to like some stress or whatever, you know, to that person, it's a lot of guilt that they deal with. So it makes their grieving process much harder because they're dealing with guilt and they're dealing yeah. with their self and, you know, things like that. Gotcha, definitely. So I, I, I definitely should be one, you know what I'm saying, to do what you can for the people while they, what they say, give them, give them their roses while they're here. And exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, Dahlia, thank you. So Dahlia, I want to thank you or come on the show talking about this. This this is helping me out in the process because like it's been five years and I still, you know, think about my father a great deal and what have you. But, you know, especially for people around this time of the holidays, they definitely need some type of you know, advice in terms of how they can deal with certain situations and what have you. So with that being said, do you have any um closing remarks that you want to share, not just about your channel, just about yourself and what you what you've experienced and just give the people some um, ideas and this, which they can use. So, um, you know, my whole experience, it was a learning experience for me. And I feel like, you know, it helped me and it's gonna help other people, my experience, you know, because not everybody does the research or, you know, learn the things that they should learn. So my experience helps me teach people and helps people learn, you know, and look at things a different way. You know, the video that I made about it, it kind of helped people feel better. You know, even my siblings, when they watch the video, they're like, okay, this makes me feel better. You know, so it's a learning experience. And I think that everybody should take time to learn something, you know, spiritual, spiritually, you know, in their religion, you know, do deeper research, dig deeper, look further so that you're not blindsided when things happen. That's what's up. I mean, you can't say no more as, as poor skins. Yeah, sorry, I got this. You definitely cannot say anymore. You definitely hit the nail on it. And I, and I really am not just saying this because I'm here. It, when I heard that your video, that helped. I had to get into it. It, it what you were saying um, helped me out a great deal, and I appreciate that whatnot. And for real, you know. 
So with that being said, I want you to um, give people the, the name of your, your, your channel again and, and we'll have you where they can find you and we'll have you so because I thank you for collaborating. You're welcome. Okay, you can find me again on YouTube at Delia Wynn. And that's all my social media is Delia Wynn. Um, D-E-L-L-I-A-W-Y-N. Okay, definitely y'all support because y'all going to learn something I did. So with that being said, I want you all to continue to subscribe, hit the like button. Make sure to share the video. Please do that. That's, that'll help out Delia as well as me as, you know, in, in terms of getting great messages out. So again, I just watching your video before we got on here. You're doing great things. So keep it up.